this is Jackie. I'm here with Andrew WK at Riot Fest Day Three. How are you holding up so far? You've been busy and press all day. Oh yeah, it's 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 par for the course. Uh, a lot of good experience to draw upon from past years. Don't take it for granted that we've been back each time, but you do learn each time, and you do each time is practice. Hopefully for for next year, as as I guess every day in life can be practiced for the next day. So uh, what I am appreciating is that I'm on a slightly different schedule this time. We're playing later when the sun is down. It's giving me a, a different view of the festival and uh, it's beautiful. It cooled down a little bit. People seem in very good spirits and they've been pushing hard for all now three days. And uh, I'm, I'm thankful that they've stuck with us so that we can drive it home tonight. Nice. So we talked a long, long time ago in a land far, far away huh. about seven years ago Vans warp Tour. Okay. I can only imagine the long list of things that has gone on for you since then. Um, but you have new music coming up, yes. new tour coming up, lots of big things. Uh, can you tell me about some things that have been inspiring your music lately? Same thing. It's uh, trying to reach a, a, uh, a an all-encompassing internal and external euphoric joy. I, mean, I can't really think of any reason that someone would listen to music other than to feel that way. And uh, that's all I'm doing too. I'm trying to deliver a jolt of good feeling. But not just a good mood or a good idea, a good physical sensation. The, the butterflies in the stomach, the chills up the spine, the goosebumps on your arms, that unshakable feeling that this feels good. Not, not a hazy sense, but that wow, not only does this feel good, maybe life can feel this good again. Um, and to fortify you with that inner feeling. So that's that's always that's my theme. That's my 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 reason for for not dying. And I think in 2017 we need that more than ever. What are some ways that you you you've always been a really positive guy. What are some ways that you think that will be helpful? Some tips for us that'll help us in 2017 as we ride out the rest of this year. Oh well, it's it's it's, it's the, the, the timeless timeless tests and timeless challenges that we all face. Uh, in perpetuity, for better or worse. I don't see them necessarily ever going away because I think that's part of the human experience. They'll just present themselves in different forms. Uh, for me, I'm not a naturally positive person, so it takes, it takes a mission to bring out m my best, to give me a reason to rise above my weaknesses. Uh, I'm like a lot of other people. I'm much more inclined to feel bad than feel good. I'm much more inclined to point my finger at someone else and tell them what they're doing wrong than to think, well, maybe what am I doing wrong or how could I improve or what could I change uh, to, to try to contribute something good to the world at large. Um, what's been most helpful to me is to think of it all as a test, all of life, all the inconveniences, the small irritations, the large uh, irregular events that throw you off from what you wanted to do that they're not just there to bother me or to irritate me, they're there to test me, to say, okay, Andrew, you think you're you know, so strong and so capable and so positive, let's see how you handle this. And it's just another dealing of reality with my soul to sort of mold me and try to make me grow. And I'll be stubborn and I'll push against it, but if I can just muster, not almost even the strength, but almost the acceptance that, that this is okay, and that uh, if I can keep my cool and not let my emotions get the best of me and learn from this and stay humble and yet also retain my dignity, that this is all part of being a human being. This is all life. It's not always supposed to be easy. But that doesn't mean it's bad. Well said, I like that. So what is your writing process like right now? How do you get started with a, with a song? Does it come up with, uh, does it start with a riff? Does it start with a line? Where, does it, where are, do you find that they're coming from inspiration-wise? All, all different. I think most for most folks it happens like that. You wish you could get it formulaic, believe me. And I've tried. <laughs> I, I've, I've tried. I've heard of people, these elusive geniuses that can sit down and do what they want to do, like write a great song. Because why? Because I sat down and wrote it. For me, it doesn't happen that way, for better or worse. It's exciting because it's surprising, so I'm definitely entertained by the frustrations or the rewards that you could have an entire song present itself to you while just in your head as you're driving down the road. Just all of a sudden, there's the whole song in your head, and then you're just scrambling as fast as you can to try to record it so you don't forget it. Then the work becomes, how do I execute this thing? Um, but even today at Soundcheck, 
at Soundcheck, I just started on the, in between a moment of checking guitars and the keyboard, I started playing something, I think kind of intending to play this other thing that I had, and I played it in the wrong key, but it sounded good, and then I could tell the, the guitar player responded to it. He said, what is that? I said, I don't know. And then I recorded it. I said, wow, this is, you know, and that's, it's, that's like the greatest, it really is one, a very special thing to be able to experience. And I don't take credit for it. That was something that happened to me. I don't even feel like I did that because it was such a fluke. Uh, I, I wish I had more control over those things. But you, you, the best you can do is be really responsible about it and, and record it like we did and make note of it and turn it into the best thing you can make it. But how, wherever that comes from, I don't know if we'll ever really figure it out. I like that. Music happens to you. You don't happen to it. I, yeah. I appreciate that. Uh, so any tease on when we can expect new music? Well, yeah, the new album is coming out on March 2nd, 2018. In fact, I hesitated before I said that because we haven't even formally announced that yet. We're going to officially send that out tomorrow uh, in a press release. So uh, it is imminent and it's been a long time coming. I'm not happy about how long it's been. That was never intentional. It was never really unintentional. That's, I can't even explain it. I, I wish I even had an understanding. The, I can say the amount of confusion that has permeated just about every aspect of my life over the last 12 years has been significant. But within that confusion, those pinpoints of clarity, those parts where the confusion did not overtake, like music, that remained clear, that, I that music made me feel good, that certain things and feelings in life I couldn't doubt and couldn't pick apart even when I tried to, even when I tried to let the confusion in, those sh shone through. And uh, I'm just thankful that we've had an opportunity to continue on all this time and we have an opportunity now to even do another album. I, I, I appreciate all of these things more than ever. You know, the longer you go on, it's not only the more you're thankful that you are able to go on, you're also thankful about all the things you already got to do and you can't even believe that any of it's happened. And that makes you even more excited to keep going. You know, I feel very desperate right now and, and in a good way that like, I can see that there will be a time when I don't exist anymore. You know, there was a time in my life when it was very easy to put that thought like, ah, whatever, I can think about that some other time. But coming to terms with that and accepting you, this is, you got one chance as far as we know, maybe I'll be reincarnated, maybe I already have been. But I, I really want to, there's a determination now to do the best that I can with this chance I have for the sake of it. Not to even get anything, but just to make that feeling with the time that I have here. To try to just burst out as much joyful energy as I can. Because that is clear. And all the confusion, that I'm clear on. You've had a ton of opportunities. You've been a public speaker. You've been a writer. Are there any... Um any more writings coming out anytime soon? Things that you're working on? Maybe so. I, again, I wish I knew more about... The party gods are in control. I signed my soul over to them a long time ago. I do what they say. I don't know what they have in store for me. That's a bit nerve-wracking. But even that, I've just give, you know, I've, I've, I've given myself over. And whatever happens, we shall see. I'll even see as it unfolds. I wish I could tell you what's coming up, but even I don't know. You succumb to the experience. I, I have no other option. As, as the man who parties harder than no one else, uh, in the past you've had uh, some pizza parties. Chicago is known for their pizza. Yes. What other sort of tricks do you have up your sleeve to party on this new tour? Well, I also like tacos Ooh, okay. um, very much. So I've been working on some things in the realm of tacos. I've also just reinvigorated my love of hot dogs. Um, and that's another... I, 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 I feel a little odd that it's taken me this long to realize that I've always liked hot dogs. So it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing though when something's been there right in front of your face and you just sort of just didn't, you sort of saw through it, like you saw be, be around it or beyond it and then you realize, wait, it's just right there. So yeah, I've been getting more into hot dogs lately and that's been really exciting. Um, you know, cheeseburgers and pizza and, and, and tacos and nachos, those were always there. And then I somehow just overlooked hot dogs. So I've been pretty excited about that. Food always makes for a good party. So you're playing Riot Fest tonight after Guar. Yes. That's... How do you go about choosing your set list? Well, I mean, you can't... The, the one good thing about Guar in terms of playing after them, because it's pretty much... It, you can't compete with them. So you just don't even try. As far as we're concerned, that is the end of the show. They, they have headlined. 
and they're, we're there to play the after party. Oh, I like that. That's a, good, that's a great way to think about it. That, that's a necessity with them. You cannot outdo them. So what's up next for you after Riot Fest? Uh, more touring. We go straight from here to Minneapolis and then on throughout the rest of the country. This is um, a very exciting tour. We have a new drummer. We have a new keyboard player. We have our uh, original guitarist back in the fold, our original bass player back in the fold. A fantastic lineup in the band. So the, the, the live band, I feel like they all have the same spirit. They're, they're, there's this shared determination and, and excitement. Um, and in, in the best way, it feels like just the beginning. Um, it feels like the start, but the start that's now also empowered with all the experience that we have. Um, and I just feel very lucky that we get to do this. Excellent. We'll get ready to party hard with Andrew WK. This is Jackie. Thanks to Chorus FM and In the Key of Change.